uh, talking to you from Apavia, Romania. I'm amazed. The work here in Romania is stymied, especially the evangelism, the outreach to share the good news of the gospel is stymied by misinterpretation and tradition. I have been working hard to try to make the personal evangelism here in Romania more effective. Come on, guys, let's go. And uh, so I have been taking some of the uh, scriptures that are particularly pertinent to an assurance of eternal life or salvation uh, and, and uh, explaining it both in public and in private. Uh, by public, I mean churches and uh, private visits there. I'm amazed at the resistance or the inability to accept the simplicity of the gospel. Let me give you an example. I am sharing, of course, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever does one thing, number one, that Jesus Christ is the is uh, the Son of God and God the Son, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay? If you believe those things, those three things, you are a believer. Nothing mystical, uh, no uh, deep spiritual experience. Yes, the Holy Spirit is involved, but remember that the Holy Spirit confirms his word. Without the word, there's not too much to confirm. <clears throat> whoever does that one thing, John 3.16, whoever believes in him, two things happen, will not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, Roy, you make it too simple. And uh, I don't know what they mean by that necessarily, except... They want to add to it. Well, there's nothing in John 3.16 about teaching people to be good. It's about helping them to believe. It's not about works. It's about faith. And so we'll go on to, you know, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are we saved through what? Through faith. Belief. And that's not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. In other words, you can't earn it by being good, by doing good works. It's not to stop doing this, that, and the other thing. Well, uh, I know a lot of Christians who have been on the road who need to stop doing this, that, or the other thing, myself included. That's why I'm almost 300 pounds. <clears throat> Control your eating, Roy, yes. And then, and then to underscore it, Ephesians 2, 8, then we go to check them. Not, N-O-T, negative, not of works. Plus, any man should boast and say, you know, I... Look, I'm... My first name is Goody. My last name is Two Shoes. I'm Goody Two Shoes. Nonsense. Never happened that well in the way. Never did. Never will. Repent as they did when Peter preached. Repent. Repent. Now, the only thing is that their definition of repentance is, you know, tears and deep remorse and and, and sorrow and 
you know, a, a lot of emotion. And if you look up in the in the um, Hebrew, the Greek Hebrew dictionary, uh, the the first uh, definition of repentance: change your mind. Change your mind, you Jews. This is what Peter is saying on the day. Uh, talking to you from Apavia, Romania. I'm amazed. The work here in Romania is stymied, especially the evangelism, the outreach to share the good news of the gospel is stymied by misinterpretation and tradition. I have been working hard to try to make the personal evangelism here in Romania more effective. Come on, guys, let's go! And uh, so I have been taking some of the uh, scriptures that are particularly pertinent to an assurance of eternal life or salvation uh, and, and uh, explaining it both in public and in private, by public I mean churches and uh, private visits there, I'm amazed at the resistance or the inability to accept the simplicity of the gospel. Let me give you an example. I am sharing a course John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever does one thing essentials number one that Jesus Christ is the is uh, the Son of God and God the Son Father Son and Holy Spirit okay if you believe those things those three things you are a believer nothing mystical uh, no uh, deep spiritual experience yes the Holy Spirit is involved but remember that the Holy Spirit confirms his word without the word there's not too much to confirm <clears throat> whoever does that one thing John 3 16 whoever believes in him two things happen will not perish but have everlasting life oh Roy you make it too simple and uh I don't know what they mean by that necessarily, except they want to add to it. Well, there's nothing in John 3.16 about teaching people to be good. It's about helping them to believe. It's not about works, it's about faith. And so we'll go on to, you know, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are we saved through what? Through faith, belief. And that's not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. In other words, you can't earn it by being good, by doing good works. It's not. You've got to stop doing this, that, and the other thing. Well, uh, 
Uh, I know a lot of Christians who have been on the road who need to stop doing this, that, or the other thing, myself included. That's why I'm almost 300 pounds. <clears throat> Control your eating, Roy, yes. And then, and then to underscore it, Ephesians 2, 8, then we go to check them, not, N-O-T, negative, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, you know, I, look, um, my first name is Goody, my last name is Two Shoes, I'm Goody Two Shoes, nonsense, never happened that well, n way never did, never will. To repent as they did when Peter preached repent repent now the only thing is that their definition of repentance is you know tears and deep remorse and 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 sorrow and you know a, a lot of emotion and if you look up in the in the um, Hebrew the Greek Hebrew Dictionary, uh, the, the first uh, definition of repentance, change your mind. Change your mind, you Jews, is what Peter is saying on the day. Longer the and, uh, and 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 Roy, it's 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 not as simple as just looking to Jesus. Why not? So yeah, I've been around the block a couple times, and I know the scriptures. I teach the scriptures in cemetery, in my seminary, Bible class, Bible school. So as I remember the Old Testament, when the people were bitten of the serpents, and God showed Moses how to deal with it. He said, put this serpent on a, a, a symbol of the snake, on this post, and tell those people, just look. Just look and live. Look, look. Just give it a look. It's more than that. You need this medication. You need this treatment. You need this. Uh, and, and so they died because they wouldn't look. It's look and live. It's too simple, you say. It's profound. It's God's way. And we need to accept God's way. I got a fire in my belly. Because God loves these people. He loves this world. And somebody said to me, Roy, you make it so simple that you're sending people to hell because you don't teach them holiness and to be good. I, I said, you know, we're not saved by holiness. We're saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Perfect. Not one. Everybody's dealing with something, including the Apostle Paul. He was pressing towards some mark. What was the mark? He knew more than he lived. But he wanted to be there. And so, too simple, you say. And it's, it's complicated, you say. Well, it's the good news of the gospel. And, um, my dear saints, let's teach, let's press, let's fight for the beautiful simplicity uh, and profound Fundity of the gospel, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the apostle. Oh, uh, uh, and I'm sending to the hell. And then I, I responded by saying, you know, I feel sorry for you because you're laying burdens on people that the Bible does not. And they say, well, you know, without holiness, no man can see the Lord. 
Well, Jesus said, no man has seen God at any time. So, uh, you know, we strive uh, not to be holy. We strive to walk in the Spirit, to, to dwell in the Spirit. And thereby, dwelling in the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Oh, dear saints. I remember Madame Dion reading that uh, autobiography and, and uh, you know, the, how, how she battled, even though she was a Roman Catholic, she battled with the church leaders for the utter simplicity of knowing Jesus and walking with God. Well, thanks for listening to me today. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to fight on. We're going to fight on. And I hope I don't make myself um, unwelcome in the churches here in Romania. I certainly don't want to do that. But I certainly do want to help them today. Love you guys. Oh, let's just love Jesus. And looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him despised the shame, endured the cross, and we'll endure whatever we have to will for the sake of the gospel. God bless you. Thank you. And uh, uh, we'll close this right now.